welcome to Larch Hill. My name is Pat Cleary. Um, I manage Larch Hill Farm. Um, and this is my son Gavin who manages, he's the managing director of Cleary Compost in Shredden. Our base is in Larch Hill and we farm in the region of about 500 acres of all till arable land. Uh, one of the things that we find very important is the, the structure of the soil. Uh, to achieve high, high yields we have to look after the soil and a fundamental part of that since 2000 and the loss of the sugar beet industry in 2005 was the introduction of compost from our site here and uh, the process of composting will be explained by Gavin. We stockpiled the green waste until we had roughly a thousand ton and we'd get a shredder in and we would shred the green waste. After the shredding process the compost is windrowed where it is composted for 12 weeks, turning every week. After that we would get a screen and we will screen it down to 20 mil where the end product then will be spread on the land incorporated as a natural fertilizer for the next next year's crop. We had a, f um, a 518, well it would be, be a bigger machine than the, the, the trommel. This was an older type machine that we were hiring in so um, it would have little problems here and there with Maintenance. locking up and having to reverse the floor at the front and block and block by hand and the mesh is blocking up with the material and stuff so the end product is a lot cleaner. Was a machine that is constantly feeding nice and slow would get through quicker than a machine that is a bigger capacity but blocking up or there's problems here and there just slowing you down the whole time. That machine there was no hassle with it, just constantly slow feed but get through it. You yeah. know, it's a mobility, the car it was so compact yeah, for, small, for moving around with the tractor, you know, very handy. Small, uh, tidy machine, no blockage, is easy to access anywhere that I did have to access. Didn't need to load it up in a low loader, just hooked it up to the tractor. It's brought directly from your side to our side. The, the material, material is wet sometimes, but it's still, the, the hopper takes it in, doesn't block up, and the meshes don't block up, because the brushes are working cleaning the mesh constantly and there's no there's no blockages so your end product your end product isn't being affected by the damp or wet the, the, the compost is before it goes through the channel. 